Well, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today. We're out on the, my Aprilia RSV4 factory, 1100. And not been out on a, not been out for quite a while, actually. Actually, not really, not really done that many videos, to be fair. Um, same old, same old, like busy with work. But yeah, anyway, nonetheless, I'm out today. Uh, the sun's out. Actually, the temperature-wise today is actually, we're still in double figures. So to be fair, I'm actually rather happy about that. So no salt on the roads, because obviously the bike won't be coming out when there's uh, salt on the roads. So anyway, the main topic of conversation today is about um, the reliability of this this machine. And, oh, I just realised something, actually. Where I'm parked here, um, going off on a bit of a tangent here, that vessel over there was the vessel that was sitting, I think it was off the Kent coast, um, it had been turned down from entering ports. It's got, apparently, and I'm not going to stay here too long. <laughs> You'll understand why in a minute. It's got 20,000 tonnes of, oh, is it ammonium nitrate, I think. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you recall. I'm not going to bore you with all this, but I think it's 2020. Back in 2020, there was a massive explosion in, I think it was Beirut, where they had this, con or the contents nowhere near i think it's about three thousand tons of, of, of what's on that boat uh like i said there's twenty thousand tons on there and it blew and yeah look it up it was absolutely horrendous but for some reason or, not, or other we've actually allowed that vessel in the harbor here uh this is great yarmouth so the port of great yarmouth so it's nothing unusual i mean that sort of stuff is coming in here all the while generally but it is apparently very very explosive um in the wrong you know in the wrong situations but yeah, anyway, a little bit of uh, information there for you. Anyway, nevertheless, I'm not going to hang around here for too long, so we'll jump on and um, we'll spring her into life. <clears throat> it's really nice to be out today, to be fair, on this machine. She sounds wonderful. Just filled her up, just fueled her up, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. But yeah, a little bit worrying, like, you know, I think the vest that vessel was loaded in Russia as well, so really is like it was a little bit of a concern obviously with the locals here and that like like you know you can it, it, you know understand but there you go yeah anyway back on the subject of the aprilia the rsv4 my aprilia i've owned this bike oh i'd like to say about eight months now and on the reliability side of things I mean, I've, there is lots of other videos on the channel. Feel free to have a look at uh, look at my other videos regarding this bike. And to be fair, reliability-wise, I, I often get asked in most of my videos I do on this bike or comment or comments out regarding, oh, you know, what about reliability and what about this and what about that. I mean, I'll be perfectly honest honest with you. That, you know, there's a lot of comments regarding overheating of this bike in slow sort of slow traffic and that sort of thing. But yeah, anyway, it, 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 yeah, I mean, the temperature does, it does go up. But what I tend to generally do on this bike is I will, if I'm sitting at traffic lights for for too long or at junctions or wherever, I'll just turn the bike off. I mean, n not not because I'm worried about the bike cutting out as such, but mainly because it's actually quite uncomfortable getting the, you know, the, the fan kit kicked in. It blows all that hot. Uh, uh, heat from the engine right up right up in, into your face there and it's, it's actually really uncomfortable so I mean other than that there's not really been any any reliability issues with the bike the bike always starts I leave the bike on an optimizer like 24-7 it's just plugged in it's got a lithium battery on this bike as well so I, I, I literally just leave that on which to be fair I've, I have got been caught out before with the battery failing on, on one of my bikes. I think it was my GSX R thousand R to be fair and I literally got got you know got all my gear on, went to <laughs> wheeled the bike out of the garage, went to start it and it was dead as a bloody dodo, so it's really disappointing. Luckily I I, I actually had my Triumph 765 RS at the time so I just jumped on that and went out. So but yeah, I mean I, I would recommend especially a bike of this capacity, this is the eleven hundred CT it is a V4, but yeah, I mean, 
everything else seems okay. I mean, to be fair also as well, this bike <laughs> looked like um, Ronnie Pickering sitting there. I don't know if you know who he is. <laughs> Ronnie Pickering, I'm sure that was him. I'd like to go back and say, who are you? <laughs> but uh, it might not be him, but it really did look like Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> sitting there with his, with his missus. <laughs> um, where was I? <laughs> oh dear, I'd love to go back. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I've gone completely off track now anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah um, oh, I mean, I, I, I really can't fault the bike. I mean, this bike, that's what I was going to say, to be fair. I bought this bike from Wheels in Peterborough. And they deal in lots of different sort of models of bikes and that, uh, obviously being an Aprilia dealer, dealership. This, they do offer a lifetime, lifetime warranty on this bike. Obviously, it has to be serviced there, and I think you get free MOTs and that sort of thing. Not that really, to be fair. I, so I don't generally keep bikes that long to even worry about an MOT. It's a bit, bit bizarre, really, but I, I do sort of, if, if you are an exist, existing subscriber, you'll know that I don't generally keep bikes that long. Uh, but yeah. But no, I mean, they, yeah, they offer free MOTs, or I say free MOTs. Is anything ever free in this day and age? Probably not, uh, you know, uh, looking at the big picture. However, the, the lifetime warranty, obviously, because these are expensive bikes, I mean, this, this is probably, oh, I can't remember what it was, probably it's over 20 grand for, for this. You may get a deal on it, but this one, this is a limited, limited edition machine, this one. Uh, I'm going to go this way. And uh, cut in here, a little bit naughty, I know, but generally... Yeah, I'll try and battle your way through the traffic here. But yeah, this is a prime example of this, this bike in, you know, the temperature's now reading 98 degrees C. So it's, the temperature's getting up there, you know, and I'm sure if I'd have stopped there for two, for any more than a minute or so, then that fan would have cut in and, which to be fair, that's what it's designed to do. But back to the reliability thing, you know, you do read, and there is video, other videos out there where people have had all sorts of issues with it, with this, with this model, and the Tuono as well. Obviously, they share the same. Well, the Tuono is the naked version of this. I think it's, I think it's obviously, uh, I think it's got reduced power, reduced BHP on that one. I mean, but rider, rider, rider aids on here. Oh, stay there. Rider aids on here are very, very. I mean, you, you, you do notice the difference in, in, you know, when you go from like the, the street to sport and then in, in the user one, which I've, I've changed the map to sort of obviously full, full beams really. Obviously not around here riding around in, poodling around like this, but could really just put it in the sport. It's dead easy. You just hit that button there. That's the user. That's the street. I've actually got my camera in the way of the screen there. You can't see, but... But yeah, so overall, I mean, I, 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 can't, I can't, I can't really moan. I can't moan really at all, which is, to be fair, is, is a really, really good sort of place to be with this. Generally, when you, when you, you know, when you buy a bike, there is sort of niggly little things. I mean, obviously there's, there's niggles. There is another video on the channel. I'll put a link in the corner somewhere regarding the, a few little niggles I had, or I've, I have with a bike, but you do get used to it. And not really a problem. And they are just niggles, because I really do love this bike. It's an amazing machine. You wouldn't want any more power, certainly for the road anyway, uh, for the track. Uh, I did read somewhere as well, which might be worth taking into consideration about, where did I read that? I was in a magazine somewhere. And it was about, there's a, there's a, <sighs> <laughs> I 
they know that when you, if you if you take this bike on track, they 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 know they can plug in and they can tell. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not 100 percent on this, but the the source that I read it from is quite a reliable source and. Would that invalidate your warranty? That's my question. So, I would love to take this bike on the track. I really would. Uh, but, what you know, what's your views on that? Uh, Peter, you know, comment below. What, what do you think? I mean, I, I, I've, I really do think that it would p potentially invalidate your warranty. So you could take this bike on the track, and yeah, and then end up. Invalidating your warranty now. Well, it's a bit of a bit of a worry for me. Being such a, an expensive bike, and it, it wouldn't be cheap, would it? If something major was to go wrong, or I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, apparently there's there's some device on the bike, maybe another control unit somewhere, or it records whether it records constant speeds, like ridiculous speeds, and it, it knows. I, I don't know. But reliability-wise, so far, so good. But yeah, it's really, really nice to be out, blow the dust off. I have done a bike review for a long, long time now. I think the last one I've done was the, the new Honda 650 with the E-Clutch. I think it's called the E-Clutch. Uh, but it's like, going back to the reliability thing, it's like anything else. See, the fan has just cut in there. So we're going to be rolling right now. It's not a problem. But yeah, if I was sitting here for, for too long, I would, I would generally uh, t turn the bike off, really. One thing I have noticed with the bike, and I mentioned it before, is about hitting neutral. That, that's, that bugs me, that really does bug me, you know, because you can be going down the box and put it back in sport there. I'm now going to get onto the one of the duly open her up a bit so yeah that when you go to put it back in a gear in the first gear or or even second gear if you're still rolling that makes a hell of a cr clunk that really is bad and, uh, and I maybe you could snap the chain I don't know it doesn't sound like it does it any good really but it's one of those things so we've got uh, traction control on five today wheelie control on two on, I mean, now I'll put it back into sport mode. T taking it off pussy mode. <laughs> User mode, I'd probably flick that into that on the twisties. But she sounds wonderful, especially on the gas. I, I, I literally just tickle the throttle there and we're up in the silly numbers but this bike is really really amazes me it does I think this 217 bhp very smooth it's not you know the, the electronics on this bike to, it's not a great it's, it's an aggressive bike yeah of course it is with that power that torque but it's not what's, what what can I say it's not uh, Ridiculous. So yeah, nothing really to report. So let me know in the comments, have you, or you know, what, if you own one of these, what problems have you had? You know, if you own this mod, this, this model, this model is obviously the late, the newest model. be interested you know interested to know your thoughts on it tire wise I mean the rear tire uh, you can start you're starting to, I'm starting to see wear on it now obviously he said he said he said he'd done what 1500 mile I think something like that if you had its first service done but I think you could quite easily wear a rear tire out on this bike especially on the track no doubt about it but I don't I don't know about the track thing I really don't know. After reading that article, it's kind of put me off a little bit. I was going to tell you about the bike. Uh, TFT, very, very, very 
crisp, very reliable, it's not slow, it's not laggy when you, you go through the menus, a lot of it is adjustable on the fly, nothing there has let me down at all, oh, nothing there has let me down at all. It's all very user friendly, uh, there was a little bit of a problem where you know, I have looked down and seen the traction control down on about two, and where I pulled the clutch in and I've caught the minus button which is quite easy done but that's not a reliability issue is it at all Whoa. but yeah I, if you are thinking about buying one I would highly highly recommend you test ride one first uh, you, you know you you need to do your research like I say, I've got, I've got lots of other videos on the channel regarding this bike. I think even my first ride out actually was was on the on the channel. But anyway, I really do appreciate you joining me today. Just a quick video there, probably not as quick as I thought as I'd like to have been. I hope you stayed with me to the end. And I will get the bike reviews underway again. Like I say, I've been so busy, famous last words I know, but nice to do a video, nice to get out and it's actually Halloween today, so happy Halloween. <laughs> Soon be Christmas. That dreaded Christmas has come round again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Take care. See. Oh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care. See you soon.